Another thing is, guys, where do we fish as far as when we go sail fishing? What is the best area to look for? Where is the best current to fish? Now, what I would like to do is I would, I would like to explain that when I go fishing and I'm a novice fisherman and I'm going out there as far as in 200 feet of water, how do I tell what the current is? We talk about current all the time. All the current that we have are on technical GPS's. Now what I do is I basically go out to 200 feet, I stop the boat, I turn my GPS on, I'll put a waypoint in as far as a wreck. And as that wreck is as far as close to me, as far as that, I can look at my GPS and I can find out that the current is 2.5 knots of current to the north. And basically from the coloration as far as with the water, I can tell if I move inside the green water Inside the blue uh, color change, I'll notice that the, that the tide in the rip is basically at a slower level. I'll go into the green water, it'll be 1.2, 1.3 knots. I'll go out to the blue water, it'll be 3 knots. That's a Gulf Stream. Where they butt up against it, you'll see a color change, you'll see weed. That's where the bait accumulates. That's exactly how we tell how fast the Gulf Stream is going by our GPS. Um, that is the tip of the day. And the one thing about it, as I go out there and I figure out where the sailfish are, I'll stay on the inside edge of that three knot current. Which means if I go out there, I'll have my boat as far as position in the slower current. The slower current means more bait. The more bait that has to fight against the three knot current, they'll go into the lesser of the currents. That's where the sailfish will be. I always want a north current because that's how the migration a fish take place. A fish always migrates. If you have no current, you will have no fish. That's usually the common say. If, if I have current to the north, that's where the sailfish will be. If I have a north wind with a north current, they butt up against each other because the current's going to the north and the wind is out of the north. You'll see big giant swells out there. You'll see uh, a lot of accumulation of bait. You'll see flyers getting up and you'll see a lot of weed Butt it up against the two currents. If you're going to kite fish, stay inside that kite, inside that lower of the two currents, and you'll be able to catch a sailfish, I guarantee you. Good luck.